but. Oh, 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 hey, 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 giant, 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 giant. I might be tagged out in a minute. First trip. Tell him we made it to the hunting camp. I had to get a shower because I was stinky. Done eat your whole bottle. You ready to go, ain't you? Woo. Get my gun and get my light. Go. The mama's in here. She's she's cleaning. So I'm guessing. You cleaning? As she's breaking all my stuff, I reckon. We got Colt Man's bed set up. We got our bed is ready to made. Tig's here. Shay's here. Macy's here, but she's over there sleeping. Little sleepy Pete, she done fell asleep on the way here. She done fell asleep on the way here. We're ready. All right, guys, I'm using the night mode because it's still so dark. This fog is insane this morning. But I just had a doe and a pretty nice buck come out. He looked to be a pretty young deer though. The doe is still out here. He uh he kinda left her be after uh he came and pushed her around the feeder one time and the fog was so thick I was filming but I'm not sure how much of it you'll actually be able to see. But she just came out here and peed literally like 15 feet from the feeder. So I got a lot of decoy out here right now. And she, she looks to me, I mean, I couldn't really tell what that buck was either. I think she looked like a, a decent eight point. One of the target deer that I'm in here after. I'm in here after two deer, three deer really. There's a there's a tall a tall tight racked eight point that's just got a massive body. I mean huge. And then I have another deer that just showed up about a week ago. He is a gigantic six point. I'm I'm talking about a stud. Um, deer I would love to shoot. Big ol' heavy six point and big old body. Perfect deer to shoot to off of the place. But um then here after him at eight point and then there's a ten. It's been pretty sporadic in here, he a very hit and miss. But um he's a stud, he's probably pushing one forty. Really nice deer. Um, but, like I said, we'll see, we got a live decoy out here right now, and, uh, it's day two of this weekend, morning on, so, it's Saturday the 9th of November, so these bugs are starting to get a little bit wound up and pushing those around and stuff, so, there's no telling what we'll see or what could show up as well, so, but anyways, I'm gonna, I might go ahead and close this interview out, try to get this camera figured out and see if you guys can see these deer, because it's really, really tough to run the camera in this fog, but, anyways, let's get it.
I couldn't get my point of view camera on my GoPro was running. I just got a stud eight point. The eight point I was in here after. Let's go. A literal stud. shoulder folded him up right there oh sitting here let me turn this on so you guys can see me a little bit better so it's, it's, it's literally 7 30 in the morning but i'm sitting here and the doe has been out here in this fog all morning with another bug so she finally started to work off. Thank goodness she did, because then I started looking around a little more than I already was. But I forgot to turn this on too. Anyway, so I'm sitting here and the doe kind of works off and I'm like, oh, should I film her? Should I not? Whatever, like no big deal. So I turn and look, which you can't even see. It's like a wall of fog right here on the camera. You can't see nothing. So I turn and look, and a hundred yards out there in front of me, here comes this giant eight point. The eight point I was in here after, one of the deer I was in here after, just a tall, heavy eight point, big old body. So I'm sitting here. So I have all my stuff set up to shoot at the feeder because I figure a doe will come out and a buck will chase her. Um, but anyways, so I have all my stuff set up facing this way, tripod this camera my gopro thank goodness was in the background over here you know, right over my shoulder here so i pick up my tripod like i said mind you there's a there's a rack buck just cruising across this field i grab my tripod move it all the way around lay it down and uh, stick it down all that And uh, anyways, deer comes in, Bow! dropped him. So I'll show you guys the recovery and everything in just a bit, but I'm gonna get down and go check him out. All right guys, I'm gonna give Mac a call. Colt man's been up most of the morning crying, but before I call her, I'm gonna give her a huge shout out, man. She's such a good wife. She busts her tail at work. She comes home. She helps take care of our son all the time. Even when she wakes up super early for work, she still helps. She's always just helping out and loving. And she puts up with this crazy obsession that I have. So let's give her a shout real quick and see how she, how she responds. She's gonna be happy that I shot one. I was discouraged all morning long sitting here because I'm like, man, you know, it really sucks because the fog is so thick, I can't see, but most of the morning I couldn't see 50 yards. Genuinely, I could not see 50 yards this morning until probably 7.15. So the first hour of daylight, I could not see more than 50 yards, maybe 60. But all I could see was outline of a deer at the feeder. And then another deer popped out. I could tell that the deer to the left was much bigger than the other one. So I, uh, I was sitting there looking and that buck walked off and all I could tell was he just had a frame. I couldn't tell what, honestly how big he was. Um, I could tell his body wasn't huge. Um, but so he works off and then the doe is still at the feeder. Well, I throw some corn out in the cotton field and stuff just to make it easier for them to eat. So they started uh, 
she she started to work down the oh there's a doe right there just popped out so anyways I'm sitting there and the dam oh man Max called me back Hey, cold man. Guess what, buddy? Daddy shot him a big buck. Yeah. Daddy shot him a big buck, so you get to come see him. But he's a big old body joker. I'm trying to be quiet because there's a doe literally standing out here. There's a doe standing out here 100 yards. But... No, that, that giant body eight point just killed him. So. No, son, I killed him at the goat pen. Goat pen. Yeah, I was just sending it to you. I'll let you know which deer it was. But. Oh, 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 hey, 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 giant, 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 giant. I might be tagged out in a minute. I just shot. I just, I just tagged out. I just tagged out. I'm done in Georgia, baby. I just killed a big 10 that I was in here after. And there's another buck in the field. These bucks are running wild. I got one deer dead right there, a giant 10 point. And then I got a deer dead right there, a giant eight point. I just had the best one of my life. Something, when I was standing over there next to that deer, I was gonna call Mac and I was gonna make a big thing of it because it was a big deal. It was the first buck I killed since I had my son. And I'm sorry I couldn't get the camera turned around, but I wasn't gonna let that, that that's a giant 10 point. I wasn't gonna let him slip away. That doe just drug three bucks out in this field this morning and two of them are not leaving the field. I hit him perfect the first time. He honked up and ran over there and stopped it. 100 yards, I shot him again and dropped him. That's a giant. That's, that's much bigger deer than the first one. Well, let me call him back because now they're all sitting on go. I'll mess with him a little bit since I know he's dead. He's down right there. I just I just missed that big ass ten point. You what? I just missed that giant ten from the goat pen. I just missed the giant 10 from the goat pen. He was oh, running no. full blast, yeah. Just kidding, I killed him too. <laughs> oh, no, just I'm tagged out, baby. The other one's a giant 10. Okay. That's both deer I was in here after. I just killed both of them. <laughs> you hear that? What? <laughs> so, hey. Put it. Well, put him on the camera real quick so I can get him in the video. Okay. 
There's my little man. Coat man. Your daddy just shot a double. While everybody else is sleeping this morning, huh? Yeah. Well, he wasn't sleeping. So, all right. Well, I'm um. I'll uh, I'll keep y'all posted. So I'll let you know. I'm I don't know what to really do. I'm gonna go look at this deer because this one's way bigger than the other one. All right, love you. Well, I don't know if I should be happy or sad because um, I just tagged out in Georgia and um, I got a week's worth of vacation coming up. So, looks like I will be spending some extra time with Colt Man. But, man, if you guys if you guys can't see how much I genuinely love this stuff, man, I, I'm ate up with it. I love every second of it. And I got probably... 25 minutes of me just sitting here talking to the camera for this video but i'm telling you if you guys can't see the passion that i have for this sport then you're not paying attention you need to turn the volume up or back up i couldn't be more excited and i'm so happy because my son's here my wife's here and i get to spend the memories with them and that's the coolest part so anyways i'm gonna get down i'm gonna show you guys these bucks and then we're gonna go back, get the family, come out here and make a day of it and enjoy ourselves because, ah, oh, man, these are the memories that you only get to create for so long. And being a dad has changed my whole perspective on a lot of things, but especially just spend time with your family, love your family. Don't hold grudges, it's too short, but I'm not gonna get a whole, philosophical on y'all i just killed two giant bucks in georgia and i couldn't be more excited so y'all stay tuned sorry guys so here he is big old bruiser of a buck i mean this deer is probably 200 215 220 pounds he's a big old deer got nice heavy horns here i'll put this down for you guys so you can see it he's got big old heavy horns like I said, you can't pass that deer up. There's no way. And he came in there. He was fired up. I think what happened is that doe that you just saw get that other buck killed came in here and had him on her trail this morning and he lost her. So she came around, popped out in that corner down there, which I know there's a pile of bucks in there. Always is, there's a lot of sign this is one of those stands that you know you have to hunt on an easterly wind which i mean we get them but it's usually a southern southern wind this morning it was northeast east northeast so i knew it would be perfect so i just eased in here man <laughs> shot this stud and then as i'm on facetime with my dad and mac and them i have the video i'll clip, play the clip again i'm sitting there the doe pops out i'm like oh i'm trying to be quiet there's a doe at 100 yards blah 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 boom giant 10 point steps out and i'm sitting there and i'm like whoa, 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 whoa and i threw the phone in the floor and this video is still recording it's all one clip couldn't get the camera spun around all the way so all you can see is like the cotton because i couldn't get the camera spun around it's on this little tiny tripod but so i got this and like i said that deer's got plenty of, i mean he's a good mature buck but so anyways, I got turned around, got my gun up, threw it up on him, pow, and I watched it just pile drive him. Comes flying out of him. He runs out in the middle of the field and stops. Well, I can see where the, where like the, the hair is all scuffed up where it, it hit him. And uh, so anyways, I, I went ahead and grabbed, gra or, uh, just left the safety off and followed him and shot him again and dropped him. Honestly, I think the second shot might have hit him in the base of his neck or high in the shoulder, but that's what I was trying to do is knock him down. Well, this deer, I knocked him down, and he kept flopping around, so I got down, walked over here, shot him in the neck just to put him out of his misery. 
and then for whatever reason god told me to literally get back in the stand and get my cameras and stuff and call mac from the stand because i knew that doe was hot because she had another buck with her this morning a smaller buck so anyways i am tickled pink but i'm about to show you guys this other buck and i'm going to keep this clip rolling because it's important to see how ridiculous this is so i don't know if you guys can see the stand the stand is literally right there on the camera it's right there so the stand it looks far away right there but it's actually only like maybe 65 yards 70 yards there's another buck in the field and i'm standing out here with a giant on the ground it's a young buck but so i shot this deer ease my way back to the stand got in the stand at that point i put all my camera stuff up this is the only camera I left out, my vlogging camera. Shot another giant. And now this other deer, there's a buck right here in the field. Let me see if I can get it so I can show you guys. Another young buck just out here just strolling. I need to get out of here. No way, he's working a scrape. That's the same scrape that big 10 point was working right before I shot him. Which obviously you guys didn't get to see that footage, but. Hopefully he just works off. Yeah, there he goes. All right. Yeah, all right, so I'm gonna try to hustle up over this other deer. You guys can see that I'm not kidding. There's one buck right there. This other buck died within a hundred yards of this one oh maybe 150 he's a little further than i thought he was when i shot at the last time but if you guys haven't already subscribe to my channel man this is what we do we're out here we're chasing these giant bucks and when when you chase these giant bucks around like this it can be so frustrating because the weather's warm you know, I don't want to say it sucks because hunting never sucks. I love it. I'm made up with it. I enjoy every second of it. But when, you know, you're hunting, you're making those, those gritty drives on a Friday, drive up after work, and then you get here, you get to hunt a day and a half, and then you turn around and drive back home, you're leaving your family. You know, it can be, it can be a grind. Here's another buck, but this is a big old 10.2. This is the main deer that I was after in here. I really wish he'd have come out first. Yeah, that's him. Just another stud 10 point, man. Wow. Wow. This buck right here is rutted up, son. A stud of a 10.2. But, I mean, a toad. So, I'm tickled to get death that first shot. Just straight pile driving him. I don't even know where the second shot hit him, but it folded him up like a ton of bricks. But, alright guys, that's it. I mean, I got two bucks down, and once again, there's the stand. So, anyways, we're at ya. <laughs> I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, I'll probably show a little bit of footage of my son and me, and just kind of the family part of it, so. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. If you watched this far, you're a real one. Drop a subscribe, drop a like, drop a, a comment. If you punched a tag this year, let me know where you're hunting at. If you haven't punched a tag, good luck to you guys out there. Be safe, and we're out of here. All right, guys. So I got my little mini here. We're uh, back at the camp, and we got both these deer out, and I am tickled to death with them both. This is just a big old bruiser eight point. 
five and a half year old deer just you know don't have the best genetics in the world but i'm tickled to death and that's a big old deer huh yeah that's a big old deer and then this one is probably the second biggest deer i've ever killed um you're 10 probably pushing 140 so but i'm happy as can be to have a little <laughs> man here with me and mama uh yeah a little speechless soaking it all in right now um i'm tagged out in georgia so won't be any more georgia hunts unless it comes from my dad or macy or somebody else so uh you guys do me a huge favor and drop a like on this one uh drop me a, a comment and subscribe to my channel but on that note we're out of here <laughs>